Hello kitty. Good morning, friends. Um, as you can tell, probably by my voice, I'm sick. <laughs> I was about to just say, I'm not that sick, and then I started coughing. Um, I'm actually not that sick. I just, I think I have a head cold because it's just actually my nose. It's, my nose is blocked and it won't stop running. And um, so here I am. I thought since I'm probably going to be sitting in bed for most of, can you see my cat's ears, for most of the day, um, I might as well make a reading vlog out of it because I will be reading my books that I'm currently reading. Where's the other one? <laughs> I'm currently reading Vox by Christina Del Delcher. I'm close to halfway through it um, and I'm really enjoying it so far. It was on my August TBR of all the books that I took out of my bookshelf that I thought that once I had read them I would want to give them away. So I was going to read them so that I could then in fact give them away. The other book that I'm currently reading, which is all the way on my desk over there and I don't want to get up to get it right now, is A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. I've been listening to the audiobook while I'm reading the book, like the physical book, <laughs> in my hands because um, I'm finding it's helping me stay focused on the writing because otherwise I think I would not take in half of what was being said. As you saw, I just made myself a cup of tea. I just spilt it, I noticed, as well, which is great. I made myself a cup of tea, um, and I'm about to get back into bed, snuggle with my cat, and read some books. And you get to come along for the sick journey. Joke's on me. I have to go work. <laughs> so I will not be sitting in bed all day reading my books, but I will be going to work and probably sitting there and reading books because I don't think it's going to be very busy at the bookshop today. Hey, Kitty, what do you think? Um, so I'm going to take both my books there and my earphones so I can listen to the audiobook if there's nobody around. And then... I shall check back in with you again probably this afternoon when I get back from work um, and see how I have progressed in the books since you saw me <laughs> sitting right here in this spot reading the, I almost said the Vox. No, <laughs> Vox. Um, <clears throat> I'm on page 200 at the moment and it's going, it's going well. It's getting more and more interesting, so... I'm glad I'm getting around to reading this book. It was a good idea. Anyway, I'm going to go to work in a, in a bit and then I shall check back in with you again later today. <laughs>
welcome to the next part of the vlog. Wow. My voice really sounds very strange. Um, I swear I'm really not that sick. I just sound a lot sicker than I actually am. It's update time. So, I finished Vox. I finished it um, last night. I read about... Mm, 220 something pages yesterday <laughs> because I was so into the story and just needed to know what happened next so Vox is finished <clears throat> I thoroughly enjoyed it although I must say there's one issue that I have with this book overall I really enjoyed the story but there, I, I have an issue with this book and it I have the same issue with the, 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 the devil in the dark water and other books but I can't think of them right now but I know I've had this issue with other books before um, so what I feel like happens in these books is it all starts out <laughs> you have the beginning of the book and it starts and there's we know we're building we're building and we're building up to a certain point it's the exposition it's all of the getting to know the characters and the story and the setting and all of the backstory and all of those things and we're just building constantly building and then there's a small action and it starts to and it builds even more and it builds even more and it builds to the climax point and then everything suddenly just very quickly happens and then it's the end of the book and that bothers me because I feel like I'm I'm getting you know 200 pages of exposition no even more than that 300 pages of exposition and then 80 pages of action and actually th all of the things that you've been building up to actually happening. Which, you know, I guess is kind of the way that all books work. But it felt a lot more defined in Vox and The Devil in the Dark Water. But in the end, I did like the way that the story ended, which was great for me because I didn't enjoy the f last bit of The Devil. And Sorry, my camera battery died, so I had to charge it for a little bit. <clears throat> but... What I was basically saying about this book is I had a problem with the pacing. I had an issue with the pacing. I found it was a little bit too rushed at the end, but I did enjoy it overall, so it got a four stars for me. And then the other book I was busy reading is A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. I have not made any progress really in this book. I started reading chapter two and then without listening to the audiobook and then just realized that I really <laughs> would like to listen to the audiobook while I read that so I haven't made any more progress on that book but I did start reading another book on my TBR for the month um, The Susan Effect by Peter can't pronounce his last name because it's Danish um, I found out that it's Danish when I started reading it because at the front it says translated from the Danish by Martin Aiken so thank you, Martin, for translating this into English so that I could actually read it because I don't speak Danish. I've started reading this book. I'm on chapter, it's covered by my bookmark, four, page 19. I didn't read very much because my mom and I decided to sit in the sun this morning on the balcony and read for a while because it is Women's Day in South Africa today, which is the, Aug the August 9th, the 9th of August. Um, so it's a public holiday, so we decided to just have a, a chill day and give ourselves some time off and read in the sun. But because I'm sick <laughs> and because we've had family here for the past week and we've spent every day with them um, and I've been up every night basically since they've been here till past 10, I was very tired today. I still am very tired. I, just tr I tried to take an afternoon nap, but I cannot. I'm I think pre basically incapable of taking afternoon naps unless I am almost deathly sick. So I tried to take an afternoon nap. It didn't work. I did not nap. But this morning while I was busy reading this book in the sun on the chair on the balcony, I kept falling asleep while reading it. I kept <laughs> like my hand, my, my head was resting on my arm on the arm lay, leaning rest, whatever you call it, of the chair while I was reading and I kept falling asleep while I read. So I didn't read very much of this, but I am enjoying it so far. And I am coming to realize that non-native English speakers 
write stories so differently from the way that native English speakers write their stories. Their story structure and the things that they focus on in their stories are so different from the things that you would focus on if you were natively English. And I find the same thing with, sorry, I'm jumping back to my old thought. I find the same thing with movies that are not made in English. Um, I've seen a few films that are not in English. I've seen a few French films, Swedish films, Dutch, Norwegian, and they're so different from English films. <laughs> but I am enjoying the Susan effect nonetheless. I, the, the chapters are really short as well, which is something I quite like. That's my little update on currently reading and finished reading books for this sick reading vlog. I've just been reading a bit more, but I think I'm going to end the reading vlog here because I want to get started on editing this video so that I can get it up in time for you to watch it tomorrow. Um, but I've made some progress. I've read a whole other, <laughs> other, a whole another chapter of A Room of One's Own. So I'm almost 50% through. Um, a room of one's own and I don't think I'll be finishing it today but I will probably finish it over the weekend and I might do the same with the Susan effect I'm currently on chapter 5 which is only page 24 of this book but I think I can get through this book quickly because it the story is interesting already um, so I think I'll be wanting to read this over the weekend to see where it goes. Thank you for watching this sick reading vlog. I'm sounding a little bit better today. I'm also feeling a bit better, which I'm very happy about. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me in the future. And with that, I shall leave you here. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I shall see you again next week with another video. Bye.